Hello, my beautiful Virgos. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. We're almost in Virgo season, so I'm looking forward to wishing you a happy birthday in a few days here. And this reading is for the last two weeks in August. For love, let's see what is going on with Virgo. Okay, well, there's some energy coming out. It looks like you're moving on after a period of time. You're making, you're making some mature decisions about your life right now. You have smaller plans. You're not sure what they are, but you are definitely moving forward after a difficult time in love. The energy at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords, King of Cups. Somebody wants to rush in and tell you that they love you that they would like to have a future with you, that they would like it if you would make a choice or give them some sort of answer about how you feel about them. Okay, so let's cut the deck and see what is going on in your reading, Virgo. Okay, in the recent past, it looks as though you have been feeling sad about your love life. The overall energy in the reading at the bottom of the deck is the star card. But we see that both you and your lover, this is mutual energy, have felt sad and lonely, at a loss with each other, not sure quite what to do. Right now, both of you are very much joined in wanting to have a beautiful reunion, balance things out. You both feel that the relationship is a gift certainly a spiritual gift and both of you would really like to see this work you're taking things very slowly very calm very cool how your person views the relationship as it is right now one of a new beginning in love or, bra or a brand new relationship all right how your person views you as someone who is letting go of their burdens how they feel in their heart space you're a font, very dedicated to you, very, very much, very opinionated about wanting a commitment, wanting stability, wanting potentially a long-term relationship. How do they view this situation with the two of you going forward? Juggling two. You might be in a situation, Virgo, where one of you has a commitment to another or you have obligations to other people. But when we look at this star card as the overall energy, this is hopes and dreams for love coming true. This is a relationship in need of some healing. It looks as though you, this is a reconciliation in which you're beginning your love again, but there will have to be decisions made because juggling looks like it's too much of a burden for your partner. It just looks too much. Okay. So what's the hidden energy between the two of you? Six of wands. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Both of you would love to have a very public relationship. Both of you would like to be in the limelight together saying, this is my person. Standing in, you know, in really getting a lot of attention. And both of you feel that way about each other. You both feel as though the other one is highly desirable. You both feel as though you love to be together. You love to be out in public together. It looks like two of you, the two of you may do something together in which you get recognition. So if you work together, you've done a creative project together, it does look like the two of you, unbeknownst to you, may get some sort of recognition as a couple. What is spirit recommending? Well, spirit's recommending justice, balance, Libra energy. You know, plan for the future. This could be a relationship that could turn into a long-term commitment. Your person certainly is interested in that. But this is all about keeping things balanced, fair, honest, the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And it represents marriage because it's a seventh house of a legal partnership. What is the outcome in the near future for this relationship? We have walking towards fulfillment, wish fulfillment. The Knight of Pentacles is Virgo energy. It really is the energy of um, finding solutions, having taking your time to find answers, working on the relationship, being in it to win it. Both of you are really there. I really like this relationship reading for you. So we are going to clarify we're going to look at Moonology. We're going to look at the Shaman's Dream Oracle to give you some advice, too. So let's look and see what the clarifiers are here. So what caused the sadness in the past? Because it's like you were both sad. 
you were lonely without each other. Looks like a period of separation. Now you're in the state of reconciliation, new love, giving up burdens, commitment, but having to make a decision about giving something up and being more balanced. So one person might need to leave a situation or something. We'll see. Three of coins. Okay. So both of you may have been collaborating in a project and you may not have seen each other for a long time. I'm getting that this could be a new love relationship with somebody that you've known a long time from the past in which you may have had a little bit of a romance, but that's with somebody you might have worked with. But it does look like when we look at just the emotions, both of you really, really want to overcome feelings of sadness and pain. A third party situation possibly is what broke the two of you up. It looks as though you're both trying to heal from that. Justice card. All right, so the justice twice. Sadness. One person seeing you pack it in, Virgo. What I'm really seeing here is that maybe it's possible. Whenever I get the Three of Swords and the Two of Coins, it is almost without a doubt a third party situation. One person's juggling. Virgo, that might be you because your person views you as juggling. Okay, so the justice card could indicate a divorce is required to end a legal relationship so that the two of you could come together. The temperance card, what is it here? Keeping options open. Oh, all right. So what's happening here is both of you are trying to temper this sort of willy-nilly, I don't know what's going on, I have no idea what's going on kind of energy. The Seven of Cups is, you know, if you make the wrong choice, you're kind of messed up. It's You're going to get screwed here. If you make the wrong choice, you're screwed. But look at all these cards that came out. Ten of Cups, okay. So somebody, the Ten of Cups is about being happily married to for the two of you. The Strength card says that you both have fire in your belly. The Sun card says that neither of you have ever been as happy in another connection as you are in this one. The Seven of Wands says that you're both very defensive about one, yep, here we go, a marriage, a married person, and a single person in this relationship. And there's been a lot of deep hurt feelings. The two of you are soulmates, but one of you walked away and the Wheel of Fortune has brought you both back together for this reconciliation. But you're going to have to make some decisions is what it says. If you want a reconciliation, you have to make clear-cut decisions and you have to make the right ones. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay, why is the Ten of Wands here? Why, do they, why does your person, Virgo, see you as a person who must give up their burdens? Why is the Ten of Wands here? There we go, other woman energy, okay? When we look at the Queen of Wands, we're looking at the person who typically, if there's going to be a third party situation, it's a Queen of Wands because she is more self-focused, focused on passion, fun, not so much focused on stability because she gives herself her stability. Virgo, why do your, does your person feel this beautiful Hierophant energy in their heart space that you're the stairway to heaven? Such a because now we've established a two-party situation or three-party situation. What we're seeing is somebody is bored with their marriage. They want to release it so they can marry potentially you, so that they can choose you, so they can have a win and a victory with you. All right. So let's see why we have the two of coins. You've been very dear friends for a very long time. The friendship core is undeniable. Even if you aren't lovers, you like to talk to each other. You and your partner are both very underwater right now. You don't really know where you stand. You don't know where this is going. You actually don't know what to do. All I know is that you were in separation from a third party situation with this person. And now you both are healing, but there's not any clarity now any more than there was in the past. How do you get a victory? You heal each other, you heal the relationship, 
you treat each other with great honor, dignity, respect. You love each other spiritually. And somebody has to give up their burdens to get the victory. And the Ace of Cups, here we go. Ace of Cups, look at It's always so profound. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands. Star card, star card. This is just incredible. You both want the same thing. Now, whether you both have the courage to go through what it takes to get there is another matter, Virgo, but you both want the same thing very much. That star card says that both of you are one another's sort of emotional rock star, relationship rock star, that the happiness the two of you have when you're together, again, may spirit is even saying you should do what you need to to be in this relationship. Spirit is advising that the two of you come together, you make it work, that the justice card, if there's a legal step that needs to be taken to be together, Spirit is actually seeing the two of you as healers, as people who could go out in the world and help others, that the two of you have some sort of gift or mission in life together. Why is the... Her, the uh, her Virgo card here. Here you are in your reading, Virgo. Very much right here in your reading. So the outcome short term is a lot of romance. Tiki torches could be candlelight dinners. But you'd look, like to take a vacation is what I'm seeing. You are slowly moving towards taking a trip together. Tiki torches, surfboards, starry nights, beautiful water, which represents emotion. Purple, which is all about spirituality and passion. That's where you're going. You're moving there slowly, but it could happen within a six-week period. I'm also seeing that it could happen at the time of Virgo. Your outcome looks assured. The two of you both see each other as your ships have, arriving, have arrived. So regardless of the earthly circumstance, Spirit is saying that the two of you have some sort of mission together. All right, let's see what the Moonology Oracle says for you, Virgo. I'm getting some wild readings, very unique readings since the Lionsgate portal. They're really changing up the energy, and I love it. Okay. You're very close to achieving your goal, Virgo. Look at that. You are almost at your destiny, Virgo. All right, so let's see what else we have. All right, so the advice, wailing tree, reconciliations. <laughs> well, we can't make this up. We really can't make this up. And Spirit is saying reconcile. The farther gate, bold step forward. Virgo, you need to take a bold step. Virgo, uh, excuse me. You need to take a bold step forward. Virgo, that is your reading. I hope you found it helpful. And I hope if it resonates, you will like subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you so much for your view. Thank you. Bye-bye.